All right, guys, this is our Ford Focus that we're using here. It's a 2002 model. As you can see, we have the airbag light showing on the dashboard here. Uh, we're using the Autel Autolink AL619 to see if we can diagnose the fault and see where the problem within the airbag system is. Uh, so we're just going to click on the airbag, uh, sorry, the Ford icon there, which will get us into the, uh, the menu. Uh, so we're going to start new session. It generally asks you a few questions so it can ascertain which, which exact vehicle that you're in. Um, can generally pick up a lot of the information automatically. So it's asking us if it's either a 99 or a 2002 model. So we're in a 2002 model. So we'll click OK to that. Um, is it equipped with advanced track? It's not. And does it have a turbocharger? Not equipped. So then it's automatically found our particular uh, vehicle details. So we'll click yes to that. And then we're going to control unit. And this particular menu that I selected for the Ford was either for the ABS or the uh, the airbags. Uh, so we're going to click on the restraint module control, which is the airbag system. And we're going to read codes. What we'll probably see is the airbag light start to flash in a moment. Uh, that just basically means that we are accessing the airbag system. And then it should start giving us some fault codes, which should help us and tell us where the problem is. Incidentally, just while we're waiting for this to flash up here, uh, you can pick up this kit just by clicking the link directly below this video. All right, here we go. So we've got some fault codes flashing up here. Um, we've got B1881, that's C D D T S. so that is the... Uh, Diagnostic trouble code a safety belt passenger retractor circuit failure. And that's the same for both of them actually. So um, What it's basically telling us is that there is a fault within the um, The connections underneath the passenger seat. So that's what we need to Have a closer look at possibly just uh, some as I say the connections um, may need putting back together or resetting uh, So we'll go ahead and have a look at that um, and once we've uh, sorted that out, just a case of uh, putting everything back together, clearing the codes, and we can delete the airbag light from the dashboard. Uh, but if you are interested in the Autolink AL619, just click the link directly below the video, and it will take you to that page on our website. Thanks for watching.